Alright, in this video, we're going to do problem number 18 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 18, four more than twice a number A is five less than half another number B, write an equation that models this. Four more than twice a number A. Four more than twice a number A. Now we could write this as 2a plus 4. When we have 4 more than something, that means 4 is going to get added on to whatever we have. In this case, twice a number a. 2 times a is twice a number a. We could write it in front or we could write it at the end. It does not matter. On the answer that I have posted on the free practice test, I have this one right here. Now we had the first part, is, that means equals, five less than half another number B. Be careful right here. Look at this question down here. What is five less than 20? 15, right? Well, if it's 15, you don't wanna write five minus 20 because five minus 20 is negative 15. The way we wanna think about this is 20 minus five. That gives you 15. So five less than 20 is 20 minus five. Technically, you could say this as well, negative five plus 20. That means the same thing. Five less than 20, negative five plus 20, that still gives you 15 right there. So you could write this two different ways as well. Now back to this problem, five less than half another number B, well, we could write this as half a number B minus five. Or we could write it as negative five plus one half B. The only thing I'm changing versus what I have down here, you know, I got five less than 20. Up here we have five less than half another number B. So I'm taking half of that B and I'm finding five less than that. Again, this is a possible answer as well, but the answer that I have at the end of the free ATIT's math practice test is the answer that I have boxed. As a matter of fact, we could write this multiple ways. Look at these two answers here. These all mean the same thing. If you sit here, pause the video and look at it, notice I'm still having a negative five no matter where I'm at in my equation. I still have a one half B that's understood to be positive. That's why I'm adding it here. And then I have my A stuff over here on the right hand side. So I'm saying this because on the T's test for a multiple choice answer, Yours may not match perfectly, but you gotta understand these signs. That 2a is positive, that four is positive, that one half b is positive, that five is negative. And if you look at all these, those same conditions still apply. And there you have it, number 18 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can find this over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.